Here we'll be solving this absolute power inequality and notice that this is a less than situation. So let me remind you guys on what we should be doing. So on the side here, if you have an absolute value of an expression inside, if this is less than a pass D number, then in this case, you are going to take out the absolute value and the inside states the same and you put that in the middle and the right hand side states the same as well. But on the left hand side, this right here, you use the same inequality, but you will negate the positive number. So you put negative in front of that positive number. So as you can see, when you have an absolute value of the expression is less than a positive number, the inside will be in between of the negative version of this positive number and that positive number. And if this is a less than or equal to, then you'll just have the equal to right here as well. But I'm looking at this right here, so I'm using this. All right, let me put this in action for you guys. First off, we have the plus four. So we must minus four on both sides because we have to isolate this part first before we can do anything else. Well, with that being done, we will have the absolute value of three X minus two. And then this is less than seven minus four is equal to three. So now you see absolute value of an expression is less than a positive number. So we can proceed by doing this. I'm going to put down the inside expression in the middle. So 3x minus 2. And the less than 3 stays the same. But we go to the left hand side. And we also put this in between. Right? We put this in between of negative 3 and positive 3. And remember, use the same inequality. From here, we can just try to isolate x in the middle. And that will be it. To do so, here we have the minus two, so just add two here, and you do it to everybody. So that this and that will be canceled, in, right? All the sides, right? One, two, three, three places. Okay, negative three plus two is negative one. This stays the same because we are just adding two, right? And then we have the three x, and then this is less than five. One more step. 3 times x, right? So we have to divide it by 3, divide it by 3, and divide it by 3. And you see, we are dividing by past these 3, so we do not flip the inequality symbol. So finally, we can see that x is in the middle, right? x is in between of negative 1 third, and the other number is 5 over 3. And that's it.